next week we'll bring a new year and a new decade. How about that? And with it, some new trends in travel. From trips that are shorter to destinations off the usual tourist itineraries, vacation planning is moving in a whole new direction. Well, here to talk about it is travel consultant Francesca Page of MissTravelGuru.com. Francesca, welcome. Thanks for having me on. Absolutely. You, you always break news and break ground <laughs> here. You, you first come to tell us that 2019 was just a record-breaking year in terms yes. of airfare. What, what can we be looking forward to in 2020? Right, well, according to the flight tracking app Hopper, which tracks your flights and tells you when to book them, we're going to see um, flights being very low going into 2020. In fact, they're going to be the lowest they've been in January since 2013, wow. with round-trip flights averaging domestically at $195. What? I'll I know we all, we, we all yeah. complain about air travel so much, but it's, it is cheaper than ever. There's no question about it, and easier to get to places. Absolutely. And you, we, when we were here last time, you talked about this over-tourism. Mm -hmm. One way to maybe combat that is the airport right. that you're using. What does that mean for people? Right. Well, a great example is um, Ontario International Airport. It, for the second year running, has been ranked as the number one fastest growing airport in the U.S. It's located 35 miles east of downtown Los Angeles. It's a really great alternative for people flying into Southern California. You know, you're going to save yourself time, stress, and traffic, too. So that's definitely one of the things we're going to see rising. Those smaller airports that are near big mm -hmm. hubs. Mm -hmm. I like sure. that. Ontario is a great place if you want to avoid all that. <laughs> <laughs> it, it really can be. Um, let's talk about micro Vacations. What are what are microcations? Microcations are smaller trips. People don't have as much vacation time, um, and also it's it's been said to be better for your health. You can be more spontaneous. There's a bunch of benefits. You don't have to deal with jet lag. So I think people are going to be taking more small trips throughout the year periodically, rather than one large trip. And that means looking for last minute deals for these. You definitely can look for last minute deals for those. Yeah. And solo trip. You know, I was a backpacker all by myself when I was a kid. So more people in general are doing this? Yes, they are. Well, according to a survey done by Expedia, recently they found that over 50% of solo travelers are looking for trips where they can explore a city and meet new people. Los Angeles is a really great city where you can do really so many different things. They've got beautiful beaches. You've got um, a great dining scene. They have uh, this new... Uh, this new event that goes on twice a year, um, which is Dine LA. It allows a traveler or even a solo traveler to explore the city by going to these different restaurants in a budget-friendly way. And LA's downtown has improved dramatically. Yeah, absolutely. So different. Absolutely. Yeah, so different. <laughs> One of the places you mentioned, Nantucket, as a historical place that people can go and really brings a lot. I'm mad now. I was going to go there for a mini honeymoon after. And oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, Nantucket's wonderful. I've been going there for years. And it's great because it's so rich in culture and history. And those are trends we will see in 2020. You've got the Whaling Museum there, the Cisco Brewery, which is really fun. And all these wonderful artisanal shops up and down Cobble Main Street, too. And just wow. briefly, recovered vacation. Yeah. Places that have recovered sure. from disasters. Yes. Well, you've got places like Kauai, where they've got new roads after all the landslides and flooding, um, new roads and bridges, and lots of these resorts and spas that you can now access way more easily, too. So look for those places that yes. have gone through disasters that yes. you need help from it. Absolutely. Right. Francesca Page, thank you. A pleasure as thank always. Thank you.